What's up and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing fine today. For this video, we're going to be covering how to build a seasonal capsule collection. I'm going to take you guys through the process of me going from my summer capsule collection to my fall seasonal capsule collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, so let's get started. A seasonal capsule collection, at least for me, it's a collection of clothing, shoes, accessories, and all that stuff for that particular season, whether it's summer, spring, fall, or winter. A lot of people do it differently. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. It's just how it works for you, for your own lifestyle. The way I like to see it is that my seasonal capsule collection is pretty much where I have fun with my wardrobe, with my fashion, with my clothing, trendy pieces, color, print. I do already have my capsule wardrobe, which is all of my basics my denim, my tees, you know, my sweaters, my jackets, anything that I can use all year round and use as a base to build any outfit. That is what my capsule wardrobe is and I can use that all year round. It's always out for me to use. Now, my seasonal capsule collections are obviously by season, so I am going from my summer to fall and I wanna take you guys through the process of how I do this so that maybe it can, you know, help you if you guys are finding it to be overwhelming. I thought I'd just start by showing you guys what my summer capsule collection looks like this is where I have it I, and just FYI this is not all of the clothing that I was using during summer I do have all of my basics in my drawers and my other closet but these are the summer pieces that I really wanted to focus on and try to use these are the purses that I was basically using during summer I have some summery colors this is a lilac little saddlebag and then this one is a mustard yellow and then this one over here as well I also had a hat and some head scarves that I was using a lot during summer as well. In this video, I'm gonna to try to simplify everything. I'm gonna give you guys three easy steps to create a seasonal capsule collection. So I have my notes here on my phone. If this is your first time ever creating a seasonal capsule collection, I do recommend for you to declutter your whole wardrobe, your shoes, your accessories, your clothing, go through everything, anything that doesn't serve you, doesn't fit you, you don't like anymore, you're not wearing a lot, donate it or sell it. Just don't throw it out in the trash because there's already tons and tons of pounds of clothing at the landfill that doesn't go anywhere, it just sits there. So whatever you do, just donate it or sell it if you have time and you want some money back. Just super overwhelming when you have a whole wardrobe full of things that you probably don't even like anymore. You're like over it already. So you really wanna just focus on the pieces that give you joy, that you really enjoy wearing, that you really love. So there's no reason for you to keep in your closet clothing or shoes that don't fit you that you don't like anymore so declutter i already did the whole declutter i still declutter every single season because sometimes i get over things very easily and that's why i love to thrift i don't like to spend so much money on clothing because i know i can get bored of things very easily so i rather just do thrifting and that way i can recycle my clothing once i'm done with it i'll try to sell it back to them or just donate it so that is a way to recycle and upcycle the clothing without having to land in the trash step number one I call it inspo so inspiration this is the step where I have fun researching trends anything that I want to follow for that season any colors any outfit ideas and for that I like to create a list and I like to go through YouTube videos I like to go through Pinterest and you can do like a board on Pinterest, you can do like a list, you can do whatever you want that helps you out. The second step I like to call out of sight, out of mind. This is where you put away all of the pieces that are not going to be um, suited for that season. This step really depends on where you live. For example, I live in a climate that is very hot. We pretty much have heat all year round and towards the end of Winter, we do get a little bit of rain and it does get a little bit cold, but if you live somewhere where you do get four seasons and it gets really cold, of course you're gonna wanna put your bathing suits and anything light and like summery away. This is gonna help you just focus on the pieces that you have in front of you without being distracted with all this other pieces that you know you're not gonna wear. Obviously this is gonna be very personal to your style and what you love. This is all of the summery pieces that I'm going to be putting away in storage. They're pieces that I know I cannot style for fall and winter. So I'm going to just put them away out of sight, out of mind. And I can just take them back out when spring and summer rolls around. So I have some shoes, some purses, a hat. It's very, as you can see, very summery pieces. 
to do is put them in storage bags to protect them from moths or anything that can you know get into them like water and stuff like that so i put them in storage bags with a vacuum i suck out all the air and makes it really really small and tight so i can put it somewhere and it's not going to take up a lot of space so whenever that season comes along again i already have pieces that i can use this is also a great way to recycle your seasonal capsule collections i also went ahead and took out my space bag which has a lot of my fall and winter pieces in here. So I'm gonna go through this. This is also a really great time for me to declutter anything that I didn't wear for summer or anything that I don't wanna style. So for the upcoming season, we can just take it out of my collection and just donate it because I'm not gonna use it. So there's no reason for me to keep it. So for step number three is pretty much where you build your capsule collection and you see it all come together. This is also the time that you go shopping for the things that you didn't have that's on your list still. So for example, I had a few things on my list. I did do a video on my fall fashion wish list. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Having a list, it really does help me just stay with what I need to buy and not buy anything that I didn't need. If you do have time, Try to figure out some outfits, lay them down on the floor, and just see what works with what. This is what I do, but of course you don't have to do this. I do have a separate uh, clothing rack that I got from Target, very inexpensive, only $20. And I do have my seasonal capsule collections on there. And then in my closet, I just have my uh, capsule wardrobe. And there you have it. That is how I build my seasonal capsule collections. I do this every single season and I just really enjoy it. And honestly, it really does help me a lot to get ready faster, to figure out an outfit faster and not overwhelm myself with so many options. I can just have a small collection plus my basics, like I said, but I already know what I have in my basics. So I can just go to my seasonal capsule collection rack and just figure out like really quick what I can use, what I can pair with my basics. And when winter comes along, I don't really do that much change. I only add like a rain jacket and heavier um, sweaters because I do live close to the mountains. So at the end of winter, it does get pretty cold. So what I'll do is just change a few pieces. Like I said, a lot of people do it differently. Some people go the numbers route, so they only focus, for example, they say I'm gonna do 30 pieces for this season and that's all I'm gonna wear. That's totally fine. I did try that, it didn't work out for me. It just became very boring. And that's, and that's totally fine. Like I said, we're all different and different things work for us. So for you, it might work, but for me, it just, I don't know, I just find it very boring and I do want more options. So I don't do the numbers. Uh, thing anymore. Here is my fall capsule collection. I just finished completing it. I have my shoes I have tops bottoms sweaters jackets accessories. This collection is a mixture of new pieces that I recently bought some pieces that I had from last year's fall capsule collection and I also want to include some basics like you know just regular denim this is pretty much in my capsule wardrobe but I wanted to put it in this little collection just so you guys can see what it all looks like together it's very easy to create just remember that all you're putting away is the pieces you're not going to wear for that season and voila that is how you build your seasonal capsule collection in three easy steps and that concludes this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys